Broadcasting live from the field, fighting back zombie attacks with hard-hitting facts, this is Minecraft News! Hello and welcome to Minecraft News, bringing you the most news for your views. I'm Adam A.K. Swimming Bird with an avalanche of 1.9 news this week, including a new type of block, boss battle changes, the promise of better boats, and hints of a theme for the update that might make things tougher for players. It all started with developer Dinnerbone in typical mysterious fashion, stating, Goal for today! Polish up the redacted system enough so that I can tease Tweetlings with a cropped screenshot, hinting to future plans. And we'll see that picture in just a moment. He also complained about texture making before showing off a cryptic image which seems to be the textures for a new progress bar feature. Claiming that the aforementioned screenshot might not seem important at first, we can glean quite a few details out of it, including separate health bars visible for multiple bosses at once, as well as that progress bar, which could be used for any manner of additions to the game. Dinnerbone went on to mention how fun particles can be, so remember that little detail when we get to his super mysterious screenshot in a moment. On to less puzzling news, Reddit user LucasX created this pleasant looking image and suggested a new type of roadblock. In his idea, you could right-click a shovel on a grass or dirt block to easily make paths, similar to tilling farmland. Jeb was quick to spot this extremely popular post and added the new block to the main game as well as Pocket Edition. And if you look at that inventory, you can see he is in fact holding a shovel, hinting that the method for making this pressed dirt might be just as LucasX suggested. Pocket Edition developer Tommaso even whipped up a test version of what villages might look like with these new paths. A common complaint came up yet again after these roads were revealed, requesting that Jeb fix the ever-broken boats, to which he replied that Tommaso is working to save us from the wonky watercraft. That is indeed the case, as Tommaso claimed, I might have just made so that boats don't get pushed away and destroyed when you dismount. They stay in place and you jump off. Next gen! And that if they get pushed, they wouldn't get destroyed by hitting walls anyway. Hopefully these changes won't just be limited to Pocket Edition, where he showed off a preview of a new boat interface. Following a suggestion to add nachos, Jeb replied that corn might be added in the future. But finally, let's get back to Dinnerbone. Had a super productive day today, he says, working on fun 1.9 stuffs. I'm so excited to work on it, I'm pretty sure most of you guys will love it. And here is the kicker. The only hint I will give you today is that this update is for the players. Or perhaps it may be more accurate to say, against. Letting us know that some very difficult additions are in store for 1.9. Last, he tweeted out a dark silhouette that looks strikingly similar to the giant star turtle from Discworld. It's the end dimension, but if you look close, we can spot a major difference. On top of the obsidian pillars, it seems the ender crystals that heal the dragon have received some protection. It looks like the end is changing to closely resemble the more difficult console version of Minecraft, complete with cages around crystals, so you can't just snipe them all with your bow. And remember those particles he mentioned. They might just be related to another console exclusive feature, Ender Dragon Breath Attacks. Could we be seeing a revamp to the big boss that hasn't changed in years? That would definitely ramp up the difficulty as Dinnerbone alluded to for the update theme. Either way, we're gonna have to wait until next month at the earliest for the first 1.9 snapshot. Thanks for watching guys, please leave a like if you enjoyed this broadcast, and I will see you next time for some more Minecraft news.